let's segment anything here. Hey everyone, my name is Vedrin, and in today's video we're going to have a look at Meta's new model, segment anything model. So we're going to have a look at the blog post, the paper, the GitHub repository, and finally we're going to try out some custom images on the model that's, that is actually running in the browser. So does this model perform well? or does it fail poorly on some examples? And can we fine tune it in order to increase the performance on custom tasks that we might have? We're going to find out everything together in this video. Let's get started. So this is the official page of the project. It's segmentanything.com. So here we have the model, a new AI model from Meta AI that can cut out any object in an image with a single click. So the paper, I'm just going to show you the initial steps or what they are trying to do. And they have three important components. The first one is the promptable segmentation, which is essentially a way to, uh, in this example at least, cat with black ears. So this is the prompt. And then the model is providing a segmentation from this, which is quite incredible actually. So you can now use something like chat GPT prompt engineering probably, and then uh, do some segmentations on images with that. So this is the promptable segmentation task. Then they have the model, which essentially contains an image encoder, which uh, I'm sure it is very large, and then a prompt encoder. So you have one component that is using or taking care of the images and then another one that is taking care of the prompt or the text that you're giving it. And then you have a white weight image or mask decoder and then you're provided with a valid task, a mask. So here they say that we aim to build a foundation model for segmentation with the three components. And the last one is a very large data set, which we're going to have a look at briefly. So this is the original blog post from Meta, introducing segment anything, working toward the first foundation model for image segmentation. Again, very large promise or very bold promise. And here they have some very nice demos. So what they are releasing right now, they're releasing the segment anything model sum and their 1 billion mask data set, the large, largest ever segmentation data set so this is probably a huge deal to all the people that are working in computer vision and then image segmentation. So the data set is available for research purposes, so you can't use it in um, commercial applications, but the model is released under Apache 2.0, which is great. Uh, and they have a link to the demo, which we're going to look in a bit. Here, another interesting demo. You can see that they're running this in a video and in, in real time. So previously to solve a segmentation problem, you had two approaches. The first one is interactive segmentation. So this is using some sort of model and then a person who is interactively segmenting past parts of the image and then creating the mask and then essentially assisting the model. And the second is automatic segmentation but then you need to specify classes that you want to be segmented and then probably train the model. So some is a general generalization of both of these approaches. So they provide this promptable model, which essentially you can put in some text. And then as they say, you can create this text and then prompt for clicks, bounding boxes, texts, etc., which is very cool. And then they're talking about the data set that they have like 1 billion masks, which is pretty huge. And then they say that the ability to generalize means that by and large practitioners will no longer need to collect and do their own segmentation, which is quite a bold claim. And this would be the case if the model is perfect. But yeah, we might have a look at some examples that might not be that perfect after all. Okay, so some allows users to segment objects with just a click. 
And here they have the demo, which they describe how you can just click and cre create bounding boxes and essentially segment the objects. And they say that they can create a bounding box no matter the prompt in a real time, which is, uh, again, crazy to think about. But yeah, this is the model that can do it. So we train some to return a vlit segmentation mask for any prompt. And that, that would be interesting to try out, but I don't think that the current demo supports prompting. The requirement of a valid mask simply means that even when a prompt is ambiguous and could refer to multiple objects, the output should be reasonable. So no matter what you put in, essentially, the model should return something reasonable, where something reasonable is probably something that is described by the way that this model was trained. And here is a bit about the performance of the model. The model needs to run in real time on a CPU in a browser to allow for our annotators to use some. So this is actually running on a CPU in a browser and the demo, as far as I can tell, is also running interactively in the browser on a very, let's say, slow machine. And here they have a very nice um, diagram of the how the model works. We have the image embedding then some mask and then the prompt encoder which works essentially on the image embedding and then you're provided with the, with the masks and their confidence score so what is the data the data was collected using some in particular annotated annotators used some to interactively annotate images and then the newly annotated data was used to update some intern so they're doing some self-supervised self-supervised warning here uh, so what they do is essentially take an image at first and then try the model to segment it. Then a human can look at the segmentation, probably correct it, and then keep this process alive until they have some very large data set that is of high quality. And then you can essentially put on the model to run through more and more of the images and the human annotators need less and less time since the model predictions are very much perfect compared to the initial stages and there are yeah they say here that collecting new segmentation mask is faster than ever before with r2 it only takes about 14 seconds to interactively annotate a mask so it takes only 14 seconds to essentially classify each pixel in an image which is uh, amazing and our pre mask annotation process is only two times slower than annotating bounding boxes and they he here talk about the data engine the first, the model assist annotators. So this is the first part where the, the model is essentially doing some predictions, but the predictions are not good enough. And then once they have this part, they do automatic annotation. So they just run the model and then the annotators are looking through the data. And then finally, they have some fully automatic segmentation. So what about the data set? It contains 1.1 billion segmentation masks on about 11 million images. So this data set has 400 times more masks than anything in existing segmentation data sets. Wow. So open images. These are the images in a data set. This data set SA1B contains six times more images and the masks in the data set, yeah, 400 times more, wow. The meta team has released this repository in Facebook research, segment anything. And in this repository, you can see pretty much the same charts or galleries and the same image of how the, the process is working for some. And they have some getting started. So here you can essentially try out the model and then run this model in a Google Club notebook or some other kind of environment, if you will. And they provide some model checkpoints which you can run. Let me know if you want to check out this and probably run this in a Google Club notebook. But what about fine tuning? So we have this issue, fine tuning, and people were asking, at least at the time of recording of this video, and officially, there is no no answer yet so yeah probably there will be some fine-tuning examples or um, some scripts 
but at the moment that's not possible. Probably the f- most fun part is the demo. And it says that this uh, research demo it not, might not be used for any commercial purpose. And they say that all images and any data derived, derived from them will be deleted after this session is complete. And then we shouldn't upload any intellectual property rights of Facebook community standards. We'll not do that. So that's all right. And here you have a gallery of images you can, which you can try. So let's say, for example, this one. And this is essentially how it works. So here you can go through the masks. And you can see that the masks are very well created. So these kits are very nicely segmented. This is very hard image to segment, guys. So this is pretty amazing. And then it says that it it runs in the browser and these are the all of the available masks for this image. And you can see some pretty good segmentation here. Very good. So let's try out some images, actually. So the first one, which I'm going to try is this one. And this is from, uh, this is a personal image from my old car. It's a battery of my car. And yeah, you can see that the segmentations are very good. If we go through the individual components, Yeah. And you can select individual components and then create the masks. Let's see if we segment anything what is happening. Very cool. It appears to be doing a great job. All right, let's try another one. So this is a bit harder. This is probably the most famous kind of sauce in Bulgaria. And here, you can see that the segmentation is doing a great job as well. This is, yeah, let's let's segment anything, uh, everything here. Yeah, pretty good. I mean, like the circle right here is pretty well segmented, even though it's not a perfect circle, which looks quite good. Let's try another one. It's doing quite a good job right now. So this is a natural image. And it says when hovering over the image, some is running in the browser. And this is a dock next to a river. And we have a very complex scene, as you can see. Let's again try to segment anything and look what it got. Oh, so here uh, you can see that it is missing some of the masks. So there is an example on which probably, yeah, probably fine tuning will do some good here. And yeah, even though they say that you might not need to do any fine tuning, I would disagree with that, at least from these images. Another natural image. And here the segmentations appears to be working very well. This is probably more similar to what they had in the data set. Let's try again to segment everything. Here, yeah, here, even though it looked perfect at first, you can see that some of the parts are not segmented at all. Yeah, like this and this here. Okay, so some misses. So here is another image, which is very different compared to the previous ones. So this is pretty complex scenery right here. As you can see, this very strong dude. He has a lot of background behind him. 
Yeah, let's again segment everything. This is taking a bit of time. This segmentation looks good, but again, I think this, these are some misses right here. And let's see if we do cutouts. Uh, yeah. So when everything is done, we can try out this option, cut out all objects. And this will go and take all of the masks and cut out the objects for us. Let's wait and see what we get. Okay, so we have the the strong lifter here. So this is the mask of the person. And you can see that it is pretty good. I mean, for an automatic model, probably some here, but, and some here probably, but even still, it looks, it looks all right. It looks very good, actually. Okay, let's try another one. Let's try this one. This is an interesting one. So this is an MRI from a human brain. And let's try to segment everything on it. Let's see what the segmentation do here. And here it looks like that is doing a crazy good job, actually. Yeah. Let's cut out all of the objects here as well and see what we got. Okay, so this is the brain. This is the spot right here. Let's open up this one. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. Pretty impressive. But still some fine tuning would do a great job here. And finally, one that is something that you might want to also try. So this is a CV that I've downloaded from the internet. And it contains a lot of text, some formatting. Let's see what the bound, the segmentation do here. Yeah, so this is the segmentation. And as you can see, it does a pretty poor job on texts. So if you're trying to do some segmentation of documents or something like that, this model doesn't appear to be working very well. So this might be another point for where fine tuning this model might be a great fit. In this video, we've seen the segment anything model from Meta or Facebook. And the guys over there are providing a very nice whole package. They provide some source code, which you can do some inference. Then they provide a very nice blog post, which overviews the whole process along with the paper on archive. And they have a very good demo, which we've tried out with the custom images. And we've seen the strengths and weaknesses of this model, at least on a first glance. It appears that currently fine tuning is not easy or not possible. So once they release some scripts or some helpful documentation about this part, we might try to fine tune this model on some sort of images and have a look at why will this model's performance improve after fine tuning. And even though after the authors, even though after the authors are not giving us very nice tips about the fine tuning, probably some of that will help you in your particular task. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Join the Discord that I'm adding to the description of this video. And thanks for watching. Bye.